How to find the right niche influence leaders on Twitter. At this point, it should be fairly clear that you need to follow the right people on Twitter. Otherwise, the tips I've shared with you will not work. If you're just going to follow random people on Twitter, you don't know who you're influencing. In fact, you don't even know if you're influencing them at all. You have to understand that on Twitter, some people generally follow a general rule. If you follow me, I follow you. Nowhere in this does it say they're actually interested in what you have to say. That's a big problem. If you attract the wrong following, you're not going to get many results from Twitter marketing. In fact, the results you get would be the same as if you did not do Twitter marketing at all. That's a waste of time. You need to find real people. You also need to find real influential people. This isn't bad enough. You need to find real influential people in your niche. How do you do this? Here's my step-by-step -step guide. Pay attention to their biography. Look at their bio. Is it on point? Does it indicate the persona of a person who is truly interested in your niche? This is crucial. If there are no niche-related keywords there, or it's not obvious that this person is part of your target demographic, and it's not some sort of passionate or credible enough authority in your niche, then this is probably the wrong person. You may be barking up the wrong tree. Look at their follower-to-following ratio. This ratio is simple. Look at the number of people this person follows and look at the number of people following this person. If this person's followers greatly outnumber the accounts this person is following, chances are this is a real account. It is not some bot that is fully automated. Instead, this person actually has influence because for how many people he or she is following, he is followed by hundreds if not thousands of more people. This is very important. If it turns out that the number of people following this person is pretty much the same as the number of persons he is following, it's probably not a good idea to follow that person. This person is probably just using some sort of software to take advantage of the fact that when you follow people, they follow you back. Some of them follow you back. Pay attention to their level of engagement. Look at the stuff that they talk about. Pay attention to their tweets. What do they constantly retweet? What do they tweet about? Are they talking about the same stuff most of the time? Does their account get a lot of retweets and posts, retweets and engagements? Do they get a lot of favorites? Is there a lot of engagement with the content they share? Even if this person is totally focused on your niche, but it turns out that their tweets don't get much engagement, they may not be all that influential. Becoming credible with them and getting access to their market may not work out for you. Their audience may not work out for you because they're not really authorities. Pay attention to the specificity of their posts. Look at their posts. Here's a rule of thumb. If 80% or more of their posts have something to do with your niche, follow them. Follow them if all the other points I raised above apply. But if it turns out that this person's bio is on point, it has more followers in the accounts that he or she is following. It has a high engagement level. But this person focuses on generalized content, this person may be a dud. In other words, this person is some sort of Twitter celebrity. This person is only an authority because of their personality and not much else. They're not an authority because they focus on a niche. They're not an authority because they are truly passionate about a niche. People only follow them because they think their personality is interesting. So, what you get is some sort of individual celebrity market. That's not what you're looking for. You're looking for a niche audience.